Hey Sporklers! So you've already learned how to make a great classic quiz, but there are plenty more options on Sporkle to play around with. Clickable quizzes have a great simple quiz format, and with a little bit of know-how you can get making them in no time. If classic quizzes were the Beyonce of Sporkle, then Clickable quizzes would be Destiny's child. There are a few different elements thrown in, but the base of the quiz remains intact. Because of that, a lot of this will look really similar to you. We're going to start by clicking the Create tab in the top ribbon, and going to the Game Management Dashboard. Click Create a Sporkle Quiz, and we'll start entering our game's basics. We'll go over the same quiz we made last time, but in our new clicky format. Our game name is going to be Clickable Vegetables by Description, and with no similar games popping up, we're going to switch the game type from Classic to Clickable. Doing this will change the rest of your menus to fit a clickable type quiz. Click Create Game and you'll be taken into the Game Info tab. You might notice that there are a lot fewer options here compared to on Classic Quizzes. Since clickable quizzes have no column headers, you only have to worry about the description, timer, and category. Clickable quizzes have a default of Can You Pick for the description, so we're just going to change this a little and be good. There we go. That should give the player a pretty good idea of what we want. This is a pretty short quiz, and it requires no typing, so 30 seconds should be more than enough. Vegetables, again, don't fit into any of the preset categories, so we'll stick this one in miscellaneous. We'll save our changes, and then head over to the Data tab. Entering data is the exact same in clickable quizzes as it is for classic quizzes. Since we typed everything in manually last time, this time we'll import our data from a spreadsheet. Clicking Import Data brings you to this screen where you can decide to copy and paste or upload a spreadsheet. Our data is in a Google Doc and not downloaded, so we'll stick with copy and paste. We've already put all of our hints and answers into this Google spreadsheet in the same format as it appears in the Data tab. A column for hints, and then a column for answers. If we select the data we want and copy it, we can just paste it in the box for easier entry. Here, our hints and answers are separated by a tab, so we'll keep this selected as tab down below and hit import. Going to the data tab now, you'll see that all of your data is in there and looks ready to go. There's no style tab for clickable quizzes since they all appear in the same colors and have no column widths. Our quiz is ready to play at this point and we can take a look to see how it all turned out. It looks perfect, but as a clickable quiz, I think this concept is too easy. A perfect way to spice this up would be to add in a few decoys. By adding four extra rows, we can insert some fake answers in with the real ones. We're going to put spinach, pumpkin, celery, and kale in here with the real answers. By putting EE in the extra info tab, the game will know that these answers have no hint and aren't actual questions. That way, when we test the quiz, it still shows six questions, but now it has ten answers to choose from. Now I think this is ready to contribute, so let's head to the Finish Up tab and click Launch Game to the Public. Just like that, your first clickable quiz is done. It actually was my first clickable quiz, so if I can do it, you can definitely do it. If this video was helpful and you'd like to see more, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on what tutorial you'd like to see next. Also check out the Sporkle blog for written tutorials on other quiz formats. Good luck!